So when a program generates a virtual address, for example, does a load or a store to it, the processor needs to access some physical address. The question is, how does the processor map what the program is trying to access to what really should be accessed? This mapping would be really hard if every byte of virtual memory could map to an arbitrary byte in the physical memory. Then we would basically have to have a huge table of mappings, and we don't want to do that, because that table would be very large and consume a lot of our memory. So instead, the program's memory is divided into equal-sized chunks called pages. A typical page size is 4 kilobytes. So this would be page 0 in this program, page 1 in this program, page 2, 3, 4, etc. So pretty much the first 4 kilobytes will be page 0, the next 4 kilobytes will be page 1, and so on. Note that each page is aligned to the page size. So the page, for example, is 4 kilobytes, and it begins at a 4 kilobyte boundary. So this is our virtual memory. Our physical memory is divided into slots that can hold pages, and these slots are called frames. So if you remember your caches, pretty much the physical memory behaves like a cache for the virtual memory in that it has a certain number of places where we can put pages. So a page is kind of like a memory block, and the frame is kind of like a cache line, except that this is the actual memory we have, and this is the memory that the program just thinks it has, but we never actually have that memory. So now the operating system creates a mapping where it decides which pages in the program will map to which frames. We can do something like this, for example. So page 0, for example, the operating system decides to put it in frame 0. Page 1 can be in frame 2. Page 2 can be in frame 3. If we have another process, it has its own page 0, page 1, etc. And these pages might map to different frames. If we want this page 1 and this page 1 to be the same, because these two processes need to share memory, then we can map them to the same frame. And now, when this processor writes to its memory and this processor reads to the same address, they actually are accessing the same memory location, so this process reads what this process wrote. But for page 0, for example, they have different memory there, so this process sees its own content for page 0, and this process sees its own content for page 0. So who decides how to do this mapping here and here? And the answer is the operating system decides, and the actual mapping mechanism is called a page table. It's a table that says for each page in a process, where is that page really mapped in the physical memory? This is the page table for this process. Another process with its own idea of virtual memory will have a different page table that says, for each page here, where does it go here? 